opportunity to share the word with you all. It's nice to know that no matter where we are in the world, no matter what language we speak, if we're in Christ, we're all family. Amen. So a little bit about ourselves. Um, we have the privilege of serving Andrew and Jamie Walmack um, with Andrew Walmack Ministries in Karis Bible College here in Colorado. And um, we, but uh, before that, that we had the privilege of being missionaries uh, there in Russia, and that's where we got to meet uh, Martin and Tatiana. And uh, and besides that, we love the we love the Lord. We have two kids. We have a 13 year old daughter and a 10 year old son. And there is so much that we would love to just encourage you in the word today. So we'll try to get as uh, as much material in as possible. Um, I've known the Lord for a long time. I got born again when I was six and spirit filled when I was seven. So known the Lord for a long time. And I asked Jesus into my heart when I was 12 years old and got spirit filled when I was 13. And we've been married for 17 years. Amen. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> And um, and we we just we we teach together a lot, and so we're gonna we're gonna teach together um, to you guys today just some of the things that have really changed and is changing our lives. No matter how long you've known the Lord, there's still more that He's wanting to teach. Amen. We'd like to thank you for being hungry for the Lord. Thank you for making thank you for making his word your priority. Because We'll just say this, a lot of things change in the world. But God words, God's word never changes. Amen. So when we study the word of God, we, we, we are preparing ourselves for eternity. And there's no firmer foundation that we can stand upon than, than God's word. So um, this is going to sound really bold, what we want to share with you this morning, because um, we're just getting to know you. And <laughs> we're going to do what God tells us We're going to do what God tells us to do. But mes darysim tai, ką Dievas mums sako daryti. Um, it's just something that we feel like the Lord is really wanting to encourage his children in. So the title of our message is Stop Whining and Complaining. Oh. <laughs> so we just want to say at the very beginning, we love you. <laughs> but we're just gonna we're just gonna share this message with you today. <laughs> um, 
you and I were not put into this world to look like everybody else. We are called to look different. We're called to act different. We're called to live our lives differently. So we should not be surprised when we don't blend in with the rest of the people. As a matter of fact, if we are if we are blending in with the rest of the world, we, we should be surprised. You know, the, the fact is, though, that we do live in this world and there's all kinds of stories and situations you personally are going through right now in your life. Ir yra daugybė situacijų, kuriuose jūs gyvenate, einate per pasaulį ir jūs vat šio momentu juose jau esate. And the devil absolutely uses situations as distractions from our focus on the Lord. Ir vėlis pagrindinė tikslai ir naudoja tas visas aplinkybės kaip trukčius, kad mes nebūtumėm susitelkę į viešpatį. And so it's really easy then to to let situations tell us how we're supposed to live and respond to life. But as children of the Most High God, we have the ability to live above any situation that tries to attack our lives. Ir kaip mes esame kaip karalius vaikai, mes tikrai turime mokėti būti virš visų aplinkybių, kurios yra mūsų gyvenime. And it's truly because we have salvation, we have the spirit of the living God living inside of you and I today. Ir dėl išgelbėjimo mes turime tą Dievo dvasę gyvenančią mumise. So you are not weak, you are not dumb. You are not poor, you are not sick. Right? Because you actually inside you you possess the fullness of God, and that gives us a whole other standard to live by. But the devil's always lying and saying you are only what is happening around you, and that's not true. You know, it's so easy to get our eyes off of the Lord and get our eyes on the circumstances that are happening in our lives. And oftentimes what we do is we'll make our decisions based upon the circumstances rather than based upon our relationship with God. But the thing about circumstances is, is they are de designed to put you into a box. Mm -hmm. They're designed to limit your options and to force you into a corner. But what relationship with God does, what the Word of God does, is it frees you from the limitations of this world. That's why it's so important that we do not look at the circumstances that are around us, but we keep our eyes focused on Him. If you have your Bibles, open up to, to, to the uh, First Peter chapter two. We're going to read in verse number nine. Says this, says this, but you are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a peculiar people, that you should show forth the praises of him who has called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. 
O jūs esate iš rimtoji giminėje, karališkojų kunigystė, šventoji tauta, ypatingi žmonės, kad skeltumėte dorybės to, kuris pašaukė jūs iš tamsybių į savo nuostavę šviesą. You know that word peculiar means? Uh, uh, yes, we, we are, we are, it's a, a special. That word peculiar means abnormal, it means strange. peculiar yeah, Not normal. <laughs> Look at your friend and say, you're not normal. <laughs> we should be celebrating. <laughs> <laughs> we need to be celebrating the fact that we're not normal. <laughs> One of the definitions for the word peculiar actually means extraordinary. God has called you to be supernatural, not to live like normal people. That means when everybody else is getting sick, you and I are called to be healthy. That means when everybody else is, is depressed, you and I are called to be to walk in joy. That means when everybody else is whining, is, and, is whining and complaining, we are rejoicing because of the goodness of our God. If, if we're whining and complaining about our lives, then we don't look any different and we don't sound any different than the world around us. Jeigu skundžiam ir dėjojam apie savo gyvenimą, mes visiškai tokie patys kaip ir pasaulis aplinkmus. See, this is why when we talk about the goodness of God, it's so, so important to understand the nature of God. Ir vat, kai mes kalbam apie Dievo gerumą, labai, labai reikia suprasti vat tą dalį Dievo prigimties. Because if you know the difference between what is from God and what is from the devil, you know how to stand, you know how to respond. So when attacks come, you don't misinterpret and think they're from God. Let me say this. God does not put sickness on you to teach you something. Ever. He never, ever does that. That goes against who he is as the healer. God does not harm you or bring disaster or lack upon you. That is, those are lies from the devil, because if we think they're from God, we will receive them. Right, and when we know our God is good, and he is love, and he is power towards us, then when situations come, we know, okay, that's not from God, so Lord, how do I respond to this situation with your power? Then when we know God's power, we start responding to those situations in the way that Mike was talking about, in an in a way the world does not respond to them in. You see, the world will look at you and they'll say, oh, you're living in a fantasy world. You know, you, you're not living in reality. 
when in, when in real life they're the ones who are not living in reality. Mm -hmm. Going back to 1 Peter chapter 2 verse 9 it says that you and I have been taken out of the kingdom of darkness and placed into the kingdom of the his the his marvelous light. First Peter 2 nine. Peter 2 9. See, the world is the ones that are living in darkness. You and I have been, you and I are living in the light. Amen. You, you and I, because we're looking at things through the word of God, are seeing things clearly, and the world is seeing things in the dark. Have you ever woken up in the early, early in the morning and it's still dark outside and you try to get out of bed and you try to get a glass of water or you try to use the restroom and you stumble around? That's exactly what the world is doing. They're stumbling around. They're using their five senses to try to figure out their surroundings. And that's how they respond to this to their to their environment. But you and I are called to see things clearly. Yeah. Through, through the eyes of the Word of God. That reality has been defined for us by what the world, by what the Word says, not what the world says. Mm -hmm. So even when we make a mistake, we go back to the Word, and the Word says that we are the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. Not that we're becoming the righteousness of God, or not that when we do everything right, then we're righteous. No, you've been declared righteous by the blood of Jesus. And that's how I look at myself as the righteousness of God in, in him. And we do that with every single situation that's happening in our lives. What does the word of God say about this situation? Mm -hmm. So if, if sickness is attacking my body, Then I look at sickness through the light of the Word of God. And Isaiah chapter 53 says, By his stripes I am healed. And if depression is attacking me, Then I look at that through the light of the Word of God. And in the Word of God says that the joy of the Lord is my strength. Because it's the light that we walk by. The, the world walks in the darkness of feelings. I don't feel good, so therefore I'm sick. Or my my boyfriend or girlfriend just said I'm ugly, so therefore I must be ugly. Or my husband and wife doesn't want any part of me, so therefore I must be boring. No, in Christ Jesus, you are more than exciting. You are beautiful. 
you are equipped for everything this world has to has to offer. Jėzus Kristoje tu esi daugiau negu žavingas ir įvieš pats ar rūpino tave visko, ko reikia gyvenimui. You know, there will always be an opportunity to look at what's happening in your life right now and respond just as everybody else does. Ir tikrai gyvenime yra pilna galimybių reaguoti į tas aplinkybės taip, kaip visi aplinkui mūsų reaguoja. And that's why we're so bold in talking about we have to stop whining and complaining. We have to stop letting our flesh tell us what is real. Ir reikia tikrai nustoti spustis ir murmėti ir nustoti ir leisti mūsų kūnui kalbėti, kas čia tikra. And we got to start speaking to our situations the life of God. Ir turim pradėti kalbėti savo situacijas Dievo šviesą. You start speaking to your finances. Finance, I am blessed of the Lord God Almighty. I am not going to worry about finances today. Kalbėkite savo finansą, finansai, aš esu palaiminimas Dievo, palaimintas Dievo ir aš nesakosiu. Lord, I thank you for wisdom today. Lord, I thank you for wisdom today. So you begin to speak, and when those, when worry, and I'll tell you right now, the way, the way we start whining and complaining is when we receive worry and fear. <coughs> you receive worry and fear, then what do you do? You start responding to that worry and fear. Ir kai įsilenčiame tą nerimą ir baimę į save, tada pradėme reaguoti į ją, atsakinėti ją. And you got to be able to speak to worry and speak to fear and speak to stress and say, no, I am a child of God. Ir turite atsakyti tai baimę ir tam stresui, tam nerimui, kad nustabdyti ir sakyti, ne, aš esu Dievo vaikas. In Psalms chapter 1. Ir Psalmi pirmas. Psalms chapter 1 in verses 1 through, through uh, 5 and 6. These verses are so powerful. It says this in verse 1. It says, Blessed is the man who walks not in the counsel of the ungodly. There's all kinds of people telling you what you need to do with your life and your situation. And some of them love you. I'm not saying that they're evil or they're of the devil. Some of them really love you. And they're trying to tell you about your body and your health. And they're trying to tell you what to do with your finances and tell you what to do with your relationships. Let me tell you this. The devil will bring people who will worry alongside of you. Right? And, and the world calls that friendship. I'm here for you in your sickness. Oh. Call me if you need anything. <laughs> right? And again, they love you. But guys, this is not where we find our counsel. It has to be in the word of God. Ir vat tikrai nei iš tokių žmonių įmame patarimus į situacijas, o mūsų patarėjas turi būti Dievo žodis tam situacijom. So it goes on to say, so we walk not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor stand in the path of sinners, nor sit in the seat of the scornful. Tai vat kaip nesielgia, kaip patarė be Dievai, nestoji nusidėlių keliat, nesėdi su apjokėjais. And it says, but then it says, this man, this you and I will be blessed if our delight is in the law of the Lord. And in his law, we meditate day and night. Ir vat mes tie žmonės, kurie mėgaujasi Dievo žodžiu ir jo įstatymu, 
ir masto apie jį dieną ir naktį. Bet mėgsta viešpūdės įstatymą ir masto apie jo įstatymą dieną ir naktį. You, you and I always have a choice who we walk with, stand with, and sit with. Ir mūsų pasirinkimai su ko mums eiti, stovėti, sėdėti. Right, we're listening, we're giving, we're giving those people opportunity to speak into our life. Ir mes lenčiame, duodame galimybę tiem žmonėm kalbėti į mūsų gyvenimus. It's got to be in the Lord. And then it goes on to say, if we delight in the Lord, then there's fruit. Ir jeigu mes mėgaujamės, mėgstam viešpatį, tai būsime tiesojams. You know, I believe that God has called, has given us more than enough power to withstand any problems in this world. Ir tikrai mūsų vieškus davės yra daugiau negu pakanka jėgos išstovėti bet kokią situaciją, kur yra gyvenimai. And what it says there in verse number three in in Proverbs in Psalms chapter one is so powerful. This is, a, this is what the, the Lord is saying over you and I if we'll make His word our priority. That we shall be like the trees planted by the rivers of water. And we will bear fruit. And no matter whatever we do, whatever God has called us to do, it's going to prosper. I, I, believe, I believe that's the desire of each one of our hearts, to be prosperous in what we do. Ir tikrai, aš tikiu, kad kiekvienas iš mūsų širdyje yra troškimas būti klestinčio. And what the word is saying here is that if we'll make God's word our priority and not God and not worldly counsel, then we're going to walk in his prosperity and his provision. Open your Bibles if you don't mind to Proverbs chapter 3. Ir dabar taip, patarblės trys. Svečiai skyrius. Proverbs chapter 3, we're going to read in verses number 5 and 6. Skaitysime penka šeštai gultės. Please. Please. Pasitikėk viešpačių visą širdimi ir nesiremt savo supratimu. Visose savo keliuose pažink jį, tai jis nukreips savo takus. How many people in here want to be led by God in everything that they do? Well, you know what's amazing? It doesn't, the Bible doesn't say you have to be perfect to be led by God. It says you have to trust in him to be led by God. Tu turi pasitikėti, kad būtum vedamas Dievą. Wow, that's powerful. Tai galinga. That when we trust in the Lord with all of our heart and we don't lean on our own understanding. Ir mes pasitikim vieš pačiu ir nesiremam savo asmeninių supratimų. But in the goes on in verse number six, it says, in all of our ways acknowledge Him. Ir vat visuose keliuose You know, God is not just interested in the big decisions of your life. He's interested in being part of every decision of your life. Yeah. He wants he wants you to help you uh, when it comes to what are you going to have for dinner tonight. Ir netgi nori padėti tose dalykose, ką tu valgysi vakarienį šiandien. What time are you going to go to bed? Kada eisi mėgoti? The people that he's going to bring across your path to connect with you, he wants to bless you in that area. Ir jis nori, kad tu sutiktum žmonės, kurios atveda į tavo kelią, jis nori palaiminti šitoje vietoje. 
I, I just want to say this to, to everybody there. You must be extremely special that God wants to spend that much time with you. Hmm. That he that he wants you to always give your attention to him because his attention is always upon you. There are some amazing people in that room. You have callings on your lives. God has a plan for your life. And the Bible says when we acknowledge God in everything that we do, He gives us the promise that He will direct our path. That He will give us wisdom in the moment that we need wisdom. He'll give us understanding in those moments when we need it. He'll give us the words to speak when he bring, puts us in front of people that he's called us to interact with. When our lives are submitted to, 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 the, to our relationship with God and to his word. God has the capacity to, to move us down the path that he has called us to walk. And, and, and empower us to walk in the blessings he has called us to live in. I'm going to speak for myself. I'm not smart enough to know what I'm supposed to do. I, I cannot even tell you what's going to happen tomorrow. I can't even tell you what's going to happen tonight. I can tell you what I think is going to happen. But I can't tell you for sure that this is absolutely going to happen at 10, at uh, 2200 hours, this is going to happen. But God can tell us. God knows. So when I submit my path to him, he gives me wisdom. He gives me understanding. And he'll bless my way. You know, I love you and I every single day get to walk in relationship with an almighty God. And it's not just supposed to be for your your three chapters in the morning and that's it. <laughs> It's your walking with the Lord. So that's why he's invited into every situation. And the way you respond to your situations, you can either speak life or you can speak death. Can I just tell you, when you and I give voice to worry, we're speaking death over those situations. I just don't know what's going to happen. Uh, you know, this is what they're saying. I don't know how I'm going to pay for it. Mike can have um, lots of opportunity every day to worry. We're part of a ministry 
that has to have eight million dollars a month to do everything that's happening around the world. Ir mes dirbame tarnystėje, kurioje reikia 8 milijonų kiekvieną mėnesį, kad patarnauti ir liepti visus dalykus, kurios darome prie visą pasaulį. We have over 1,100 employees that we have to care for and lead. Ir turime virš tūkstančio darbuotojų, kurios turime rūpintis ir vesti. There's lots of opportunity to get in the flesh. To start to lean on our understanding. And you just have to say, you know what, I'm going to speak life over these things. Out of our heart, our mouth speaks. So this lesson isn't so much about what you speak, it's about what you believe in your heart. Do you believe the nature and heart of God towards you? Do you believe he only has good planned for you? Do you, do you understand the power of God within you? Because if you can know those things, then out, then out of that you're going to speak the life and nature of God. No, God is bigger than this situation. Yra iš karto išsakomi tie dalykai iš Dievo prigimties. 